हेलो हाय नमस्ते दिस इज कृष्णा आई एम ए योगा टीचर इन जली योगा होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो सिंस वी आर डूइंग द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सो टुडे वी आर डूइंग द ऑनलाइन विनर्स क्लास सो दिस क्लास इज वी आर एम्फोसाइजिंग मोर इन दिस चेस्ट ओपनिंग एंड द अपर रीजन एरिया लाइक मोस्टली द शोल्डर्स ओपनिंग एंड द चेस्ट ओपनिंग सो जनरली दो आर प्रैक्टिसिंग माई रेगुलर विनर्स क्लास it bit similar but not the exact same so you may find a little bit variations and a little bit a difference since we are focusing more on the upper area region but also i am giving some more variations in the throughout the class so follow it thoroughly at the same time if you have any problem during the practice please never ever force yourself always try to listen to your body and follow your body then respect the body and just do as much as you can so in between i may show a little bit advanced those who are advanced practitioners so but don't expect it's advanced class maybe one two asanas i can show you advanced so since we are coming up with the many different variety of classes so you can find many advanced class in the other videos as well so the what i mean to say is we are doing a very complete like a beginners intermediate or few advanced level of class okay hope you will enjoy and don't uh, watch just the video please just roll 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 down your mat and just come on to your mat let's start together okay okay now sit comfortably sit with back and neck erect gently close your eyes bring your full attention within the class within the body on your breath try to observe your breath for a while if it is fast try to slow down the breath calm down the mind settle down the thoughts mentally prepare yourself for the vinyasa class we'll start the session with three ohms just to create a positive vibrations in the body and the mind to bring your full attention within the class joining the hands together we'll chant together three ohms inhale just feel the vibrations of the om chanting in the body and the mind gently dropping the hands and the thighs since we are doing the vinyasa class we have to follow the ujjayi breathings it just not a normal breath you have to slightly contract your epiglottis in and producing the hissing sounds while breathing just focus more on the exhalation sounds so you have to slightly listen the exhalation sounds like i'll just give a one demonstration this is how you have to maintain the breathing pattern throughout the session the purpose of this breathing is to facilitate a good amount of energy and the heat within the body to maintain the flexibility and the heat within and since we are doing the more shoulder and the chest opening we'll start with the one lungs breathing practice which is a chest breathing practice hands in and out sit with back and neck erect just lengthen the hands in the front palms facing each other now as you inhale just expand your chest open the hands spread it 
fill the lungs completely. Inhale together. Inhale, spread out. Synchronizing the hands movements with your breathing. Feel the opening of the chest, rib cage. Exhale together. One more. Inhale, spread out. Wait for a few seconds. Hold the breath. Exhale together. Drop the hands. Now from here, come to tabletop pose. Just open your knees. Come on to the hands. Then feet apart. Your hands should be just below the shoulders. Knees below the hips. Feet a bit apart. In the back. Parallel with the floor. Inhale, just look up. It's a tiger breathing. Inhale, look up. Dropping the abdomen, spine down. Concave the spine. Look up. Exhale, chin to the collarbone. Rolling the spine up. Convexing the spine. Look at the navel and the belly button up. Inhale, spine down. Head up, chest up, tailbone up. Exhale, chin to the collarbone and rolling the spine up. Inhale, look up, spine down, concave the spine to release the stiffness from the back and the vertebras. Exhale, chin to the collarbone, rolling the spine up. Inhale, coming back to the center. Now just to loosen the major joints of the body to avoid the injuries during the practice, just Take your body weight onto the left hand side. Experience the body weight on the left hand. Then slowly move on to the right hand. Take it to the right knee. Move the buttocks back. Then come on to the left knee. And the left hand. It makes a one circle. Continue three more times. Two. Feel that you are loosening and lubricating the major joints of the body. Three. Now reverse anti-clockwise. Three. Come on to the right hand. Move on to the left hand. Left knee. Right knee. Feel that you are working under both the wrist joints, shoulder joints, knees and the hip joints. Last round. One. Then coming back to the center. Now from here, try to make a way to downward facing dog. Tuck your toes in, raising the hips up, straightening the knees and try to push your heels towards the ground. You can adjust your hands and the legs position according to your body length. If you feel a bit stiffness in the hamstring, you can just slightly paddle your feet. Alternatively, try to touch the heels to the ground to activate the hamstrings. To create some stretch in the calf, thighs and hamstrings. One by one. Then try to put your both the heels on the ground by keeping the feet a bit apart. Pressing the hands against the floor. Lengthen the spine. Sending the hips as high as possible towards the roof. Keeping the heels on the ground. Straightening the knees. One more breath. Then if you want to open the shoulders slightly, press the hands against the mat and open the shoulders, taking the head slightly towards the mat to facilitate more stretch and the freedom onto the upper area on the chest, shoulders, pectoralis, major muscles. Now inhale, taking the right leg back to the sky, up as high as possible and exhale, bring it in the front between the hands. Then drop your left knee on the floor, left toes out. And slightly keep your hands on the waist and slightly sink your hips down to open the hip flexors on the left thigh. And slightly look up. If you are comfortable, you can take your both the hands up. If you are a beginner, you can let the hands on the waist. According to your body range, you can bend as much as you can. Exhale, dropping the hands on the floor. Tuck your left toes in. Inhale, taking the right leg back to downward facing dog again. Pushing the heels towards the ground, straightening the knees, lengthening the spine, sending the hips as high as possible towards the roof. 
then inhale sending the left leg back to the sky up as high as possible exhale bring it in the front between the hands then you can drop your right knee right toes on the ground keeping the hands on the waist again with the help of the hands try to push the thighs towards the ground opening the right hip flexors on the right thigh slightly look up if you are a beginner let the hands be there in the way on the waist advance you can take your hands up and bend your back exhale dropping the hands on the floor next to the feet bringing the right leg in the front next to the left feet you can slightly move your hamstrings by bending the knees alternately loosening the hips and try to put your hands on the floor if you can next to the feet if not just keep the fingertips and take your head to the knees feel the stretch in the hamstrings in the back again and then inhale all the way come up taking your both the hands up over your head lengthen the spine and dropping the hands next to the body now we are doing the sun salutations feet and hands together maintain the ujjayi breathing start inhale lengthen the arms up pull the side muscles and the back up exhale forward fold keep in the hands on the ground just next to the feet inhale half way up just lengthen the neck alone exhale down taking the head to the knees if you are advanced keep in the hands on the floor next to the feet beginners just the fingertips inhale take your legs back one by one to the upper plank exhale bend the knees dropping the chest chin on the floor easy plank inhale upward dog all the way slide forward head up and chest up look up exhale downward facing dog tucking the toes in and raising the hips up pushing the heels towards the ground be there minimum 3 deep breaths maintain the ujjayi breathings to facilitate the good amount of heat and the energy within one more remember to keep your both the heels on the mat straightening the knees inhale take in the right leg back to the sky and bring it in the front between the hands exhale left leg also forward and bend down if you can touching the head to the knees without bending the knees inhale all the way come up and lengthening the spine look up exhale release don't get confused there are many variations in the sun salutations we are not bending the knees inhale arms up all the way side muscles up spine up belly button up exhale forward fold inhale half way up lengthen the neck exhale down inhale send the legs back again one by one to upper plank exhale easy plank bend the knees drop the chest chin on the floor inhale up for dog slide forward head and chest up look up opening the chest exhale downward facing dog raising the hips up and pushing the heels towards the ground open the shoulders and lengthen the spine three deep breaths two more one more inhale now sending the left leg back to the sky and bring it in the front between the hands exhale right leg also forward next to the feet and bend down head to the knees abdomen chest to the thighs if you can inhale all the way come up and lengthen your spine look up exhale release palms together inhale arms up lengthen your spine look up belly button up exhale forward fold inhale half way up exhale down now inhale if you can jump back beginners can go step by step just like before exhale full chaturanga without touching the mat beginners can touch the mat just like before inhale up for dog head and chest up look up exhale downward facing dog raising the hips up and pushing the heels towards the ground and breathe two more one more 
Now soften the knees, beginners you can come step by step forward, advance, jump forward, inhale, bringing the feet between the hands, exhale, bend down, head to the knees, inhale, all the way, come up and lengthen your spine, look up, exhale, release, palms together, inhale, bend the knees, arms up, look up, so you can slightly bend the knees if you want to advance some variations, exhale, forward fold, Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, down. Inhale, jump back, try to jump a bit slower. Exhale, lower plank, chaturanga, without touching the mat if you can. Inhale, upward dog, bujanga, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And the parvatasana, be there. Two more. Try to take your both the heels on the mat. At the same time, open the shoulders, sending the hips as high as possible towards the roof. Maintain the belly button up. One more. Soften the knees, inhale, jump forward. Exhale, bend down, head to the knees, advance, abdomen, chest to the thighs without bending the knees. Inhale, all the way, come up, lengthen your spine, look up. Exhale, release. Last round. Palms together. Inhale, arms up. Lengthen your spine. Advance if you want. You can bend the knees. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, down. Inhale, jump back. Exhale, chaturanga, lower plank. Inhale, upward dog, bujanga. Exhale, downward facing dog or Adho Mukha Svanasana and breathe. Two more. Maintain the breathing properly. Breath is a fuel to your body. If you lose the connection with the breath, you lose the energy. So please try to maintain the proper Ujjayi breathings. One more. Now we'll just get into the series of Dasanas. Inhale, sending the right leg back to the sky. Take it up as high as possible. And slowly exhale, bring it in the front between the hands. Then come to high lunge. Both the hands up over your head, palms facing each other, sinking the hips down here. Then we'll do Virabhadrasana, dropping the left feet on the floor and straighten the left knee, bending the right knee in the front and slowly lengthen the spine slightly, arch your back here. Maintain the right knee, bend, I mean right thigh should be 90 degrees with the right calf muscle. Your right knee should be exactly over the heel. If it is not there, just slightly you can adjust the backside feet according to your body range and slightly open in the chest and look up. At the same time lengthening the spine, pull the side muscles up. Maintain your pelvic in a square shape. Two more, one more, now slowly come to Virabhadrasana, two here, dropping the hands up to the shoulder level, looking at the right fingertips, maintain the legs in the same place, left knee should be straight and the right thigh should be 90 degrees with the right calf muscles and just your hip should be facing in the front, looking at the right fingertips. Feel a very good amount of stretch in the thighs. Two more. One more. From here, slowly, as you exhale, curl your hands, dropping the right palm just next to the right feet outside. If you're a beginner, you can keep your block and hand over the block, or you can keep your forearm on the thigh and left hand over the head. Bicep to the ear, palm facing down, slightly look up by opening the chest. Make sure that your backside leg should be straight. Your full body should be in a one straight line and upper body. Three. Two. One. Exhale, dropping the left palm on the floor just next to the feet. Inhale, sending the right leg back. Exhale, lower plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, bujanga. Exhale, downward facing dog, parvata. 
and breathe. Both the heels on the floor. Make sure that your knee should be straight. Opening the shoulders, lengthening the spine, sending the hips as high as possible towards the roof. One more breath. Now the left side inhale, sending the left leg back to the sky, up, 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 as high as possible. Exhale, bring it in the front between your hands. Come to high lunge, both the hands up here. Now from the high lunge, slowly drop your right feet on the floor and straighten the pelvic in the, I mean in the center. Look forward and slowly bend your left knee, inhale, arms up and lengthen the spine slightly. Virabhadrasana, one. Make sure that your thigh should be 90 degrees with the cuff. Adjust your backside leg according to your body range. Backside knee should be straight. Knee should be over the heel. Pull your belly button up. One more breath. Virabhadrasana, two. Slowly drop your hands up to the shoulder level. Looking at the left fingertips here. Maintain the legs in the same length. Three. Two. Feel the stretch in the thighs. Both the shoulders active. One. Viparita Virabhadrasana. Slowly put your right palm on the right calf. Left hand over the head and slightly bend to the right side. And slightly look up or look at the fingertips. Maintain the left leg in the same angle. Two more. One more. Now slowly come to Parshva Konasana. Try to put your left palm on the floor just next to the feet outside. Beginners, again you can use the block. Right hand over the head. Bicep to the ear. Palm facing down. Upper elbow straight. And just look up by opening the chest. Three. Two more. Don't drop your hips too much down. Maintain the one single line, upper body. One more. Then exhale, dropping the right palm on the floor just next to the feet. Inhale, sending the left leg back. Exhale, lower plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, bujhanga. Exhale, downward facing dog, adho mukhashvanasana and breathe. Three more deep breaths. And don't get confused in the upper plank. Some people go, those who are practicing the Ashtanga Yoga, straight away with one single exhalation, they will go down to Chaturanga. But here we are doing, going to upper plank, inhale, exhale, you are coming down. Try to follow the instructions. One more breath. Now, soften your knees, inhale slowly, jump forward. If you are a beginner, just walk forward step by step. Come to Utkatasana, joining the feet together, bending the knees, inhale, palms facing each other. Sinking the hips down if you can, without leaning the back in the front, straight. Slightly look up between the two hands. Two more breaths. Feel that you are nicely toning up the calf and thighs, giving the nice stretch to the side torso. Lengthen it up. One more. Inhale slowly, straighten the knees. Drop in the hands. Feet a bit apart, up to shoulder distance apart. We are doing the Ardha Chandrasana, just to open the upper torso and upper body. Keeping your both the hands on the waist. Thumb inside, rest of the fingers out. Get the good amount of grip with the hands on the back. Throat the practice, open the eyes, inhale, slowly push the abdomen back slightly in the front, the knee straight. Just open the upper body, look back. If you're a beginner, just look at the roof. Only advance, you can look at the wall behind. According to your body range, you can try. Don't push too much. Two more. One more. Inhale, coming back to the center. Release the hands. We are doing the Ardha Kati Chakrasana, joining the feet together. Both the hands and the thighs. Inhale, sending the left hand alone to the, towards the, over the head. Lengthen it. 
and exhale slowly, bend to the right side. Slightly look up. Feel that you are creating the nice stretch on the left side of the muscles, on the left side lung. Increasing the stretch on the left side lung. Two more breaths. One more breath. Inhale, just slowly come up to the center. Dropping the left hand down. Inhale, right arm over the head. Lengthen the side muscles all the way up from the hip joint to the fingertips up, up. Then exhale very slowly, bend to the left side. Don't take too much of your body weight on the bottom hand. Simply you're keeping the hand on the thigh or on the knee and slightly look up. Creating a very good amount of stretch on the right side muscles and the right torso. Two more. One more. Inhale, coming back to the center. Exhale, drop the hands. Feet together. Inhale, bend the knees, arms up, lengthen your spine, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Vinyasa. Inhale, jump back. Beginners, step by step. Exhale, Chaturanga. Without touching the mat, beginners can touch. Inhale, upward dog, Bujanga. Exhale, downward facing dog, Parvatasana or Adhomukha Svanasana. And breathe. If at all you are losing the connection with the breath, whenever you are coming back to Parvatasana, try to regenerate the connection to maintain the good amount of energy and the heat within. You are regaining the energy for the next practice. One more. Now slowly soften your knees, inhale, jump forward. And from here slowly come to Vajrasana, bend the knees and sit on the heels. Since we are doing for the chest and the upper area, we are doing the asanas accordingly. Now, first we are doing the Uttana Manduka Asana. Taking your both the hands up over your head, lengthen the side muscles and the side torso up and slowly bend your elbows. Try to keep your both the hands on the shoulder blades, then just cross the hands, keeping the hands on the opposite shoulder blades. Try to walk down with the fingertips to reach the bottom of the shoulder blades if possible. If you are not able to reach, just do as much as you can, that's okay. And slightly look up, opening the chest. Those who are having the very stiff shoulder and upper back, you can slightly cross the hands here and slightly look up, that's enough. If you can, just do the full pose. It facilitates a good amount of space by opening the chest to the lungs. I'll just show you from the background, just it will be like this. One more breath. Feel that you are creating a good amount of space for the lungs by opening the intercostal muscles and the rib cage. Then slowly release your hands, dropping the hands and the thighs. Now we are doing the Gomukhasana. If your hips are not that comfortable in the if it is very stiff, you can just simply sit in Vajrasana and do the disease for the lungs and for the upper area. If you are okay, you can just slightly sit onto the right side, taking the left leg over the right leg, just like this. Your knee should come on one upon the other, both the heels outside, don't sit on the heels and the back straight. Inhale, both the hands up, lengthen the side muscles. Whichever the hand is, which, whichever the leg is up, the same hand should go on the top. Bend your left elbow, taking the left hand on the shoulder blade, then dropping the right hand down, take it up from the back. Try to lock your fingers. I'm just turning to show you the clear picture from the back side. If you're advanced, you can try to catch hold your wrist joint. If you're a beginner, you can use the strap or the towel to catch hold your hand at the fingers or you can use the towel one more breath then exhale just bend forward you can take your chin on the upper knee two more breaths one more breath feel a good amount of stretch on the left side of your lung inhale come up 
then slowly release your hands coming back to vajrasana again then we are just changing the side now sit on to the left side taking the right leg over the left knee both the heels out sit on the mat inhale both the hands up lengthen the side muscles and the side torso and the rib cage bend your elbows keep your palms on the shoulder blades then the right hand on the top taking the left hand down and up from the back side again catch all the fingers or catch all the wrist those who are advanced or the full hand beginners you can use the strap or the towel to hold just look up three feel a stretch on the right side of the lung now two one exhale bend forward you can try to take your chin on the right knee those who are doing the beginners if you are sitting in a vajrasana just take your forehead onto the floor feel a good amount of stretch on the right side lung one more breath inhale just come up release your hands release the legs and coming back to vajrasana sitting on the heels and knees keeping the hands and the thighs one deep ujjayi breathing we are doing the ustrasana camel pose stand on the knees knees a bit apart up to shoulder distance apart then feet apart according to the knee length put your hands on the waist those who are beginner please you can use the blocks keep the blocks just next to the heels outside if you are advanced without any blocks inhale pushing the abdomen back forward beginners can straight away dropping the hands one by one on the blocks advanced you can take your hands from the top make a one round of rotation on the shoulders then you can drop your hands on the heels beginners on the blocks then slowly after keeping the hands on the heels and the blocks pushing the abdomen back a bit forward you're opening the chest and the neck if you have any cervical issue you can slightly look up in the front don't drop the head and advance all others try to push the belly button out your thigh should come 90 degrees with the calf muscles two more one more then inhale very slowly coming back in the same way advance taking the hands one by one from the top and slowly sit back on the heels by joining the feet and knees together it's a counter pose sit relax in a child pose either you can lengthen the arms in the front by lengthening the spine or you can drop your hands next to the thighs head on the floor forehead then drop your shoulders just relax like a child after the nice back bending and the chest opening you are giving some rest to the back one more breath then in heel slowly come up slowly come a bit to the edge of the mat keep in the hands on the floor slowly come on to the knees and tuck your toes in beginners step by step sending the legs back advance knees up off the mat and in heel slowly with a jump sending the legs back exhale lower plank in heel upward dog bhujanga exhale downward facing dog parvata and breathe straight in your knees lengthen the shoulders lengthen the spine pushing the hands pressing the hands strongly towards the ground sending the hips as high as possible towards the roof two more breaths one more now in heel sending the right leg back to the sky we are slightly doing for the hip opening up 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 then slightly by bending the knee opening the right hip dropping the right feet on the floor just behind and the right hand up and try to take your right fingertips close to the mat if you are a beginner you don't have to take it closer stay wherever you are you are facilitating a good amount of stretch on the upper area and the rib cage right shoulder one more breath exhale coming back to same way dropping the right hand on the floor inhale sending the right leg back to the sky by bending the right knee try to take your right knee to the left elbow 
then sending the right leg inside and slowly inhale left hand up over the head and just take it to the left side palm facing up just look up now you are creating the stretch on the left side of the chest keep in the body weight on the right hand and the feet one more breath exhale dropping the left hand in the same place again sending the right leg back to the sky and exhale slowly bringing the right leg between the hands then slowly you can drop your left feet on left knee on the floor left toes out inhale just come up put your hands on the waist sinking the hips down then inhale slowly take your both the hands up by opening the chest and try to keep your fingertips on the floor just next to the hips and by opening the chest just look up create a good amount of stretch on the shoulders upper area on the chest also creating a good amount of stretch in the back sinking the hips down creating the stretch in the hips then exhale very slowly bringing the hands down just next to the feet now take your left toes in and we are doing the pigeon pose bend the right knee and sink your hips down make sure that your back side leg the left leg should be in a line don't take it too away from the central line bring it to the center line if you are a beginner keep your feet close to the hip flexors advance according to your body range you can bring the right leg in the front as much as you can the more you bring it forward the deep stretch goes on the hip and make sure that when you are bringing it maximum forward you may lean once or there is a tendency of leaning make sure that with the help of the hands bring the hips to the center on the center line of the mat then you can slowly bring the hands on the floor in the front walk forward to lengthen the spine if you can take your forehead to the floor if you are a beginner you can just keep your block if you are not able to go down you can keep your forearms on the block just look up in the front advance you can walk a bit more forward by lengthening the spine walk forward with the fingertips make sure that your left upper thigh should come close to the floor giving the good amount of stretch on the right hip one more breath stay there inhale very slowly coming back bringing the hands close to the body bringing the right leg bit closer keeping the hands next to the hips fingertips on the floor and inhale just look up mind bend your back beginners look at the roof advance increase increase the stretch on the back try to look at the wall behind if you can one more breath then back to the center beginners if you are not comfortable you can just please put one block below the right hip to get the balance now we are doing the pigeon pose here the rajaka potasana bending the left knee here advance avoid the block sending the left hand back to catch hold the left feet from inside remember don't hold the feet from outside hand should go from inside and hold it then pull the feet and if you can lock the feet with the elbow and then sending the right hand back to catch hold the left fingertips just behind the back and look up be there those who are flexible and advanced you can catch hold the feet with both the hands and slowly sending the head to the feet dropping the head on the feet and bringing the elbows together maintain here advanced king pigeon stay there two more breaths advanced you can join the elbows together one more beginner stay wherever you are exhale slowly releasing the hands and dropping the hands one by one on the floor drop the leg back by pressing the hands against the floor tuck your left toes in inhale lift your trunk up and sending the right leg back upper plank and exhale lower plank inhale upward dog bhujanga exhale downward facing dog parvata adhomukha svanasana three deep breaths again two more one more left leg now inhale sending the left leg back to the sky up 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 as high as possible 
bending the knee, open your left hip, dropping the left feet on the floor just behind. Inhale, left hand up, open the chest, taking the fingertips maximum close to the floor. Two, one, exhale, bringing the left hand on the floor in the same place. Inhale, sending the left leg back to the sky again. By bending the left knee, touching the left knee to the right elbow, then lengthening the leg inside. Inhale, right hand up. And look up. And look at the fingertips. Three, two, opening the chest and opening the hips, giving the good amount of stretch to the torso. One, exhale, dropping the right hand on the floor, back to the same place. Inhale, sending the left leg back. And exhale, bring it in the front between the hands. Can drop your right knee on the floor, right toes out, put your hands on the waist, sinking the hips down, opening the hip flexors. Now inhale, take your both the hands up by opening the chest, dropping the fingertips on the floor just next to the hips, and look up by opening the chest. Advance, you can look at the wall behind. At the same time, sinking the hips down. One more breath. Then exhale, look forward in the front, inhale, both the hands next to the feet. Now right toes in, right knee straight, hips up. Then you can drop your hips on the floor by bending the left knee, pigeon. Again, adjust the backside leg. It should be in a center line. Advance, bring the feet a bit forward according to your range. Don't push too much. According to your range, you can try. Then sinking the hips down and bringing the body in the center. Don't lean one side. Then put your hands in the front. Walk a bit forward. Take your forehead to the floor. If you are not able to touch the floor, it's okay. Be, be there wherever you are. You can walk forward with the fingertips to lengthen the spine to facilitate a good amount of place in the gap between the two vertebras. When you are walking forward, it can happen in the spine. You are lengthening the spine from the hip, from the pubic bone, opening the hips, opening the right side hip flexors. Make sure that your right upper thigh should go down more close to the floor. Inhale, slowly come up, walk back to the center, bringing the left leg close to the hips, keeping the fingertips on the floor. Inhale, look up, open the chest again. One more breath, advance, look at the wall behind. Exhale, back to the center. Then slowly bend your right knee here. Again, beginners, you can keep your block just below the feet if you want. Otherwise, you can avoid it. And catch your right feet with the right hand. If you are not able to reach, you can put the strap or the towel to hold. Then pull the feet, lock the feet with the elbow. And sending the left hand back to catch all the fingertips behind the head. And just look up. Stay here. Advance. You can do the variation, the advanced variation here. Catch all the feet with both the hands. Inhale, slowly dropping the head on the feet, elbows. <laughs> King's pigeon. Stay there. Four. Three, you're opening the hips and opening the back. Giving the good amount of stretch to the shoulders, chest. One. Slowly release your hands. One by one, dropping the hands and drop the leg back. Slowly tuck your right toes in, inhale, lift your hips up, sending the left leg back to upper plank, from here exhale, lower plank, inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward facing dog, two more breaths, don't get confused, you don't have to touch the head if you are not able to touch, in the downward facing dog you have to send your hips towards the ceiling by pressing the hands against the mat, both the heels on the ground, check yourself. One more breath. Now from here slowly come to upper plank, slowly by bending the knees you can go to easy plank and you can drop your full body on the floor. Stretch your toes out. We are doing the Bhujangasana for the back and the chest. Again, keeping the hands a bit close to the chest. Elbows closer, feet together. Inhale very slowly, head up, chest up, look up. 
It's a simple Bhujangasana or you may, may say it's a Ardha Bhujangasana by bending the elbows, elbows close to the body, navel region on the floor, only you are using the upper body up. Stay here. Advance. If you have the strength and the freedom to go, you can keep your toes inside and lengthen the spine. If you are comfortable, you can straighten the knees and knees off the mat and bend your back. If not intermediate, you can keep the knees on the floor, stretch your toes out, adjusting the hands and looking back. Bend as much as you can. Look at the roof and try to look at the wall behind in the room. One more breath. Then exhale slowly by bending the elbows, dropping the abdomen, chest, chin on the floor. You can slightly cross the hands here. Keep the chin on the hands. Feet apart. Next we are doing the Dhanurasana, bow pose. Bending the knees, catch your ankles. Hold it very tight. If you have the sweat, please wipe it. It may slip, so get the proper grip. We are doing two rounds. Inhale slowly, head up, chest up and legs up. Look up. In the beginning, you can keep the feet apart. Up maximum. Kick the legs back by holding the ankles tight with the hands. It gives a good amount of stretch to the back, thighs, chest and the shoulders. One more breath. Exhale, come down. Drop the legs, drop the chest. Second round we are doing, beginners repeat the same practice, only advance. You can catch all your feet from inside or you can just catch all the toes. Make a complete one round of rotation on the toes, only advance can try. Those who attended my advanced class, you know how to do it. Just accordingly follow the instructions. Hold the feet and just make a rotation, bringing the elbows in the front. Beginners repeat the same like before. Advance, sending the legs back, elbows straight. If you can, try to join the small finger together and look up. Stay there. Keep in the complete body weight on the stomach. Feel a very good amount of stretch on the chest, shoulders and the back, thighs. Be there wherever you are. Experience the full body weight on the stomach. One more. Exhale. Now slowly come back. Drop the legs, drop the hands. You can cast the hands here. You can turn the head any one side. Keep your cheek on the hands any one side. Whichever you feel comfortable. Feet apart. Observe the wonderful changes in the back, chest, shoulders and your thighs after performing the asanas. Be within the body. Always try to connect with the body. Don't let go the mind outside. Feel whatever the changes are happening after the practices. Now from here, tuck your toes in. Keeping the hands on the floor just next to the chest. Inhale, slowly come to upper plank. Beginners, you don't have to come, only advanced can come. Then exhale, lower plank. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And breathe. It's our last vinyasa of the class. Take your time. Maintain your own pace. Two more. One more. Hope you are not just watching the video. Please try to practice with us. To get the maximum benefits you have to perform. Not get the benefits just by watching the video. Please just roll on the mat and just do it. One more. If you are advanced, you have to jump through. Beginners, you can walk forward and then sit down and lay down on the back. Inhale slowly, soften the knees and slowly jump through advance. And slowly sit down and lie down on your back. Drop your whole body on the floor. Now we are doing the foot bandhasana. Fold your both the legs, both the feet on the mat. Heels close to the hips. Catch all your ankles. If not, you can keep your hands close to the feet. Bridge pose. Inhale very slowly. Lift your middle trunk up. Both the hips and the lower back is coming up. Up maximum higher. If you want, you can catch your fingers, interlock the fingers, press the hands against the mat, elbows, shoulder blades slightly closer, 
lift it up but don't off the shoulders in the mat it should be on the mat up maximum higher belly button up two more breaths one more breath it's a very good practice for preventing the lower back pain exhale down second round repeat the same practice those who are beginners but those who are advanced make a way to chakrasana keeping the hands on the floor just next to the ears fingers pointing inward elbows pointing to the roof feet closer as you inhale pressing the hands and the feet strongly towards the ground get the good amount of energy in the hands inhale just lift yourself up from the floor only the feet and the hands on the floor up maximum here according to your body if you are very advanced you can even walk close to the hands bring in the distance but shorten the distance between the hands and the feet by walking closer if you are not comfortable you stay wherever you are those are very advanced you can do some more variations by walking forward feet together straightening the knees sending the body weight towards the hands one more breath slowly coming back to the center and slowly exhale bend the knees and elbows dropping the body on the floor lengthen the legs if you have good stiffness you can hug your knees now both the thighs on the stomach naturally some people have a good amount of excess pressure on the back so just try to hug your knees and roll your spine to release the excess pressure from the back coming back to the center now we'll just slow down the heart beat and the blood pressure slowly drop your feet on the floor try to press the lower back towards the mat you can just spread the hands up to the shoulder level on the floor both the palms facing down you can slowly take your both the thighs and the stomach beginners from here you see if you have to go advance you can cross your left leg over the right knee if you can you can just mark the feet and slowly twisting the lower part to the right side turning the head to the left side beginners you don't have to lock the legs you can simply fold the legs thighs and the stomach and then twist after twisting if you are not able to reach your knees on the floor you can take your right hand to push it towards the back make sure that look opposite side feel a very good amount of stretch on the back after doing all the stretching some people have excess pressure on the back just to slow down after the nice winners and this is the best practice to release the excess pressure from the back and the side torso by closing the eyes your full attention on the back feel that you are providing a good amount of energy as you inhale to the spine exhale releasing all the excess pressure stiffness from the back it prevents the back pain if you already have the back pain it reduces the back pain make sure that your both the shoulders should be on the mat inhale coming back to the center just change the side the right leg over the left knee if you can just lock the feet if not just simply bend the knees and twisting the lower part to the left side turn the head to the right side If you are not able to reach it, you can just take your hand on the knee and just push it with the help of the left hand. If you are a beginner, you can bring the thighs close to the chest, knees close, uh, knees close to the chest, thighs close to the stomach. Advance, you just keep it on the floor. That's enough. Make sure that your both the shoulders should be on the floor. Close your eyes. Slow down the breath rate. Feel a good amount of stretch on the back. to the center release the lock and lengthen the legs in the front relax in shavasana in the shavasana here make your back more comfortable if you're okay you stay there otherwise slightly bend the knees and tuck your tailbone a little bit inward 
and just like a posterior pull it in and slowly lengthen the legs in the front keep your feet a bit apart hands slightly away from the body palms facing to the roof if you have any towel just next to the body please take your towel to cover your eyes to give the more and deep rest to the eyes and the head and the mind just relax surrender your whole body to the floor try not to hold your any body parts just drop it slow down the heart beat Cool down the body temperature. Slow down the breath rate. Deactivate the ujjayi breathings. No, no more ujjayi breathings. Just do normal breathings. Feel that after the nice stretching and asanas and the vinyasas, there are no more any blockages in the blood flow. every part of the body from tip of the toes to the top of the head all the joints and muscles are and internal organs are receiving the sufficient amount of energy and the blood just relax try to give the auto suggestion yourself that my whole body is now relaxing from head to toes as your mind suggests your body follows and relax your mind release all the tensions stress unwanted thoughts negative emotions anger ego jealous hatred what and all you experience throughout these days just throw it out also the fear which are just going around due to this present situation just come out from all the things when your body and mind it is in peace and the ease then the immune system also you can build up in a more stronger way feel that you have become more and more calm peace relaxed dying life with every inhalation feel that you are receiving the rich amount of energy from the nature with every inhalation feel that you reach in every body cells from head to toes all the organs are receiving the good amount of energy the positive energy try to maintain this calm peace lightness in the relaxation throughout the day throughout the work coming back to the body consciousness gently feel the body by moving the fingers and toes slowly join the feet together taking the hands sliding the hands over the head just take it over the head interlock the fingers join the feet and toes together just stretch your body up stretch 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 palms facing out lengthen it exhale release the hands bringing the hands next to the body bend your knees roll on to the right side always come from the right side during the vinyasa your heart was pumping a good amount of blood to the all over the body giving the good relaxation to the cardiac muscles without creating any pressure on the heart you are just rolling out to the right side relaxing the cardiac muscles with the help of the hands taking the hand support slowly come to sitting position sit up sit comfortably find your easy position sit with back and neck erect 
if you still have the time you can continue the next we are doing one pranayama if you don't have the time you can just conclude the session here but with any any one chanting or just come up but now we are doing here one pranayama which is the bhastrika pranayama which is a very powerful pranayama to increase the lungs capacity to release all the chest conditions to give a very good amount of freedom in the opening the chest rib cage to create to facilitate a good amount of place space to the lungs and the heart i'll show you one round how to do then we'll do together so maybe some of the people it's very new to this new to for you new for you so please just watch one demonstration one round here when you're taking the hands up you have to release the fingers and just take it up like this but when you're coming down you have to make a fist by folding the thumb inside rest of the fingers over the thumb just make a fist and exhale you have to come like this you are opening it to receive the good amount of energy i am holding the energy i am just taking it in at the same time when you are bringing it in the energy is going in but the all the positive or negative energy negative thoughts you are just sending it out you are just throwing it out i will show you this watch inhale exhale inhale like this now we'll start don't get confused there are many different variations some people may do like this so no need to worry anyone you can just do whichever you feel comfortable so here we are preferring the up point down make a fist so just open the hands inhale take it up make a fist and exhale down inhale exhale inhale exhale now continue I move Exhale this is the practice Keep in the hands and the thighs Try to observe the changes in the chest it's a very active practice you feel more active in the chest as well as in the mind and in the lungs Let's wind up the session with one Om Tri Shanti Mantras. Palms together, put up the Namaskar Mudra in front of your chest. Inhale. many people used to ask me the doubt when when we are chanting the shanti mantra actually the shanti should be together like om shanti 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 in a one single breath it should go but just to give the good amount of charge to, to, to chant everyone so we are doing like this breaking by shanti 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 don't get confused it is just to create a good amount of vibrations in the body to calm down the mind the meaning of shanti is peace peace for me peace for you and peace for everybody all over the world hope you all did the class so let's see if you did the class just click the picture of you of you if you feel shy just take the picture of your mat or just take the picture of your tab wherever you are following us our video click it and just please post on the social media don't forget to tag the jelly yoga or you can just we are coming up with the new tag i think you must be aware of it hashtag uh, stay home with gel so please try to post it and try to share this video as much as possible with your friends and with your colleagues relatives and try to do more regular more often whenever you want this open and do it also if you get any doubts during the practice just note down and comment below we are always we will feel uh, we are welcoming the many of questions so we can just clear all your doubts feel free to ask any doubts thank you so much stay healthy stay fit and do yoga at home
Thank you so much and namaste again. If you like our video, please give us a like and share it with your friends. And please don't forget to subscribe our channel and see you in the next video.